sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles and I have a fabric haul to show you. Um, I haven't had one in ages, I think the last one was in July. So it's a good three months that I haven't shown you any fabric and I actually haven't been buying um, much, just, well, there's a little pile that big, <laughs> not that much. Last month I made a pair of white pants out of this uh, linen viscose. Um, at, in that time I bought just what I needed like a meter and a half or something but I love the fabric so much um, I went back and got two more meters <laughs> I just really like it I like the different widths of the stripes it's all wrinkled because it's already been washed you know but I have loads more for who knows what you know and then um, when I returned they had the same type of fabric uh, just another another print um, so it's the same type of stripes but with all these blues and blacks and stuff also very creased so um, I got less of this I think just a meter who knows what I can make with that but I got that and then ladies be careful at the remnant bin because I found this beautiful navy blue triple crepe that I thought would be great for like a wide pair of pants like wide legs and um, when I looked at it, it said it was 1.2 meters, which is sort of enough. And um, you know when you open fabric, right? And so I'm like, oh, look at this. This is so nice. And then I folded it and then put it in a pile of fabric that I was going to buy, right? But I got ripped off, literally ripped off. Look at that. It is just like some humongous like l l tiger went Wah! like just ripped the whole fabric down. <laughs> so yeah, I got ripped off. Literally, this fabric is ripped to shreds. Um, unfortunately, the fabric shop where I bought this is like a 40 minute drive and I am not gonna go there anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm going to keep it and I'm gonna keep the receipt for the next time I go and I'll go and complain to the manager because this is a huge shop. I've bought there many times. Um, they should be careful with that and they shouldn't have charged me 1.2 meters, you know? I should be paying for 40 centimeters basically because that is the only salvageable piece of the fabric. So such a shame because I really liked it and it was not cheap, it was not a cheap fabric. So yeah, I don't know. Look at your fabric entirely. <laughs> Partly my fault, you know, but I don't know. I, I never would have thought they would have put such a damaged fabric there. Um, then not from the remnant bin. <laughs> um, I found uh, this print. Now I don't know what this is, but it's very thin and drapey and cool to touch. Some sort of polyester mix of I don't know what, but the print I really like it. It's totally my style. I love all the colors in there. And it's got a black background with all the greens and stuff, really nice. So I just got a meter of that to make us some sort of top. And um, I'm going to save the best two for last. Same in the, in the remnant table bin sort of thing. I found this fake leather. Now, I'm not experienced at working with fake leather. <laughs> Uh, for leather. It's just a piece like 50 centimeters. I thought I could use this to accent like to do cuffs or collars or do some sort of um, Accents on some sort of thing. I don't know jacket maybe uh, On the other side, it's like it's a knit and it's like stretchy Yeah, so I'm super excited to find out because this stuff is super expensive But because it was a little remnant it was cheaper and I, I wouldn't like buy a whole chunk because I don't think I want to make a whole garment in four leather. Not at this stage. I don't know. Um, then I have two little pieces of crepe that are printed, of course. Uh, so this one's blue, navy blue background with all those colors. Totally me, totally my style. You probably like predict the kind of fabrics I, I, I usually get. <laughs> and... This other one is the same type of fabric, just a different print with black and those things. You can see the texture of this crepe and it's sort of sheer but not sheer enough that I can't just wear a single layer like a tank top or something. 
Now I have some notions to show you and I'm super excited about these because in this particular shop I'd asked for this before like two or three times and they're like no we don't stock that and I was super disappointed and it's what's kept me from sewing certain things and so I bought just to try it out I bought 50 centimeters of this stretch uh, iron-on interfacing so it, it stretches and you iron it on when you need to interface uh, a neat garment so I think I could do a, some waistband, some collars, I don't know. It's enough for, a, for a, a few projects and for me to be able to see if it's any good or not. I've never ever tried this before, so I'm super happy to have found it. It was not cheap. This was like $6 a meter. Pretty more expensive usually than like other interfacings. And this other one also was the same price. And it says here, it's Frudenberg. Frudenberg iron-on interfacing 100% cotton so this is a woven interfacing it's cotton and then you iron it on so it's like you're basically sticking another piece of fabric <laughs> now this I don't know what the quality of this but I'm sure it's going to be a step up from the really cheap horrible interfacing I've been using so far and it's because it's the only one I could find it's those types that are like more for crafts you know but not for for dressmaking and that's why I haven't been trying to make collars that are like really nicely interfaced and stuff but because I want to dabble into shirt making for men um, I was super happy to find these and I also just have 60 centimeters uh, just to see what the quality is like you know but they do have this now they didn't have it before and then the last two are the best ones I love this um, I only got 1.2 meters and I'm so so silly I should have gotten way more this is a linen viscose and it's so beautiful look at this look at the drape and the print I have a vision of what I want to make in this um, that vision yeah I have a vision I can't really talk about it because to develop that vision in my head <laughs> but I really love this I should have gotten more I'm so silly if I go back I'm gonna try and get more because yeah it's beautiful and then this one you're gonna either love it or hate it um, it's a viscose it's the softest thing you could ever touch uh, and it's like this huge blown up type print um, I'm gonna try open so you can see it's also a tropical print with those huge, huge leaves. Look. And look at the colors. It's the print is just the hugest thing I've ever seen. And the drape, and it's just so beautiful. I got two and a half meters. Um, this is for a special project I've been planning to find the right fabric that I loved that would have the right pre, the right drape, the right price because <laughs> I need a lot of fabric to make that project um, but when I decide to make it I'll talk more about it I'll leave you wondering what sort of project that might be but it's not a dress and then I was really running low on um, fabric to make twirls and I found these scraps of disgustingness I don't know what they are I don't know what they are but they, they are like non-stretch a weighty like similar to what I want to make so it's for twirling pants for my husband so yeah um, that is all I hope you enjoyed seeing my fabrics I know the last ones were super mega boring but I still wanted to share because you know thanks for watching bye have fun sewing